what's up guys what's up guys uh the real dj red again thank you guys for tuning in to the channel uh thank you guys for following me thank you for all of my new subscribers i'm almost at the 500 mark almost at the 500 mark um shout out to mr wallace he just hit 1000 subscribers this week shout out to you as well uh up in uh i believe it's indiana where it's kind of cold up there right now um, but shout out to you as well. I'm almost at my 500 mark, guys. I hope and I hope that I get to my 500 mark. And I'm going to try to get to my 500 mark before this year end. Um, that will be a real good way of me starting my New Year's right, hitting that 500 mark. Um, without any help, just been out here grinding. I know I haven't gotten a lot of videos out as much as I should be, but it's been uh, kind of hectic with my schedule. We're trying to get the videos and edit them, get them back on. It's a lot of work, um, but I'm going to get a lot of them out this week. Um, this video here, I wanted to just uh, share with you guys some information on how you can save yourself from getting in a hassle if you have to reboot your program. Not the laptop. Well, yeah, sometimes with the laptop, but mainly if your program. I just watched a video yesterday, another DJ out in California. Um, that he was having issues with Virtual DJ. He was running Virtual DJ with um, the Pioneer DDJ uh, 1000 SRT. And something happened where the right jog wheel, he was losing control over it or something like that, and he had to reboot Virtual DJ. And I believe he was running Virtual DJ 20. Now, before any of you guys make any comments about um, he needs more RAM or anything like that and I've, I've looked at a lot of those comments on his uh, page and he's well over the limit for as far as what he uh, requirements I should say well over the requirements as far as what he needs to run the virtual DJ um, he shut down the program this was while the event was going on and this is the reason why I'm doing the video he shut down the program and he had to start it back up. It ran uh, fine for a while and then it happened again, started losing control over it, as well as the uh, line faders, he was losing control over that as well. Um, he had to shut down again a second time and then that's when he decided to go with Rekordbox and Rekordbox was working fine for him after that. Um, why, the reason why I'm doing this video is to help you get through a situation like that. Uh, I'm not here to bash Virtual DJ 20. Uh, it's happened to me before with Serato where I had to change something on Serato. Somewhere along the line, I was not getting uh, what I wanted from Serato. Um, it's happened with Virtual DJ before, and I'm pretty sure that it can happen with uh, any program. Uh, Serato, Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, um, Tractor, it can happen with any program. Um, what do you want to do in a situation like that is um, for me for example I have a MacBook Pro uh, 2012 or 2013 whatever it is and there's a headphone jack that's on there and I play off of uh, whether it be the SZ Pioneer DDJ SZ or the Pioneer DDJ SX2 what I do is have a auxiliary cord which is the one that you will plug into the headphone jack for the MacBook and it's going to work with MacBook or Windows. This is something that will save you. You can plug up the cord in there, run that line into a separate line for uh, going with your RCA cables running back into another channel. For example, uh, with the Pioneer DDJ SX2, I'm running channel 3 and you, know, you guys can look it up. I'm running channel 3 as my main mic. Channel 1 and 2 is what I mix with, and then channel 4, uh, I have that as a backup mic for the wireless, as well as um, I can put the RCA into it, and I can run my headphone jacks out of my MacBook. And what I always have on standby is my iTunes, where I have my music at. Um, if something happened that I have to reboot, I'm not going to stop the music. I'll just switch page, go over to iTunes, and then play something from there real quick while I can reboot the program. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Um, if you 
have music in your phone. You can use your phone as well as a backup. Plug it up right into the headphone jack on there. You can play something from your phone while your program reboot. Now this and my tablet here, um, I always have those with me. Uh, if I'm not recording video with my phone, I always have my tablet right there next to my uh, uh, MacBook. You can do it with a iPad, iPod, whatever you have. Excuse me, you can do that, and that way you can always have backup music on that plan. Now, let's switch it up and make it a little bit harder and a little bit complicated. If you're running a Pioneer, let's say Pioneer DDJ SR, SB, uh, Numark Mix Track, uh, Mix Track Pro, and your controllers are USB powered, a couple of things that I want to give you advice on. Uh, one, to get a powered USB hub. You can get them from Amazon, you can get, uh, get them from Walmart, Best Buy, whatever, get a powered USB hub. The reason why you want to do that is, is because if you have to, let's say, let's make things really hard right now. If you have to reboot your laptop, your MacBook, or whatever you're playing off of, if you have to reboot it, and you're playing off of one of those USB controllers, you don't have anything to power up that controller while you're rebooting. So now, let's say it might take you 45 seconds, a minute or whatever for your laptop to reboot, that's time that is dead air. However, if you have a powered USB hub, it would still be powering that, and at least someone would be able to speak while you're rebooting, or you can you should be able to uh, for some of the controllers that have uh, auxiliary in or auxiliary line you can plug up again your phone your tablet your iPod um, your iPad you can plug up something to have something playing while you have to reboot so it's just an idea just something to, to, to help you guys out um, I'm not perfect I've been in that situation before um, my guys have been in that situation before. Uh, we've had incidents where the whole controller shut down and we had to plug something up directly to a speaker. But whatever you do, you don't want to stop that music. You don't want to have dead air going on because now things can get real intense and you know people get antsy and some people have you know, might even want, hey, we want our money back, stuff like that. But if you have all of this stuff in place, ahead of time that will definitely help you out uh, same thing if you're playing turntables for any DJs that's out there playing turntables um, whether you're playing off of the rain mix or pioneer mix or whatever you can have that aux cord set up and have something plugged up to it just in case just in case there's um, you know I always go by these four P's proper preparation prevents poor performance well five P's Proper preparation prevents poor performance. If you're always properly prepared, you would never have to worry about that. So with that being said, you know, hey, just a little advice to you guys. I've seen a couple of DJs that that happened to. Um, a lot of DJs on, on the YouTube channels that has thousands of followers that something might have happened to the equipment um, or a program stuff like that is good good to have a uh, a backup you know for me for example uh, sometimes I might have the aux cord plugged up into my MacBook um, I always have my tablet right by me if worse come to worse I can get on my phone I got music saved in my SD card on my phone um, but it's always good to have a backup on that so just a little quick tip I um, want to thank you guys for watching and, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please do so. You can leave your comments down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and any requests or anything like that, you can always leave comments down below. I got a couple of videos that uh, that's coming out for some requests that, that I've gotten from some of you guys or whatever. So until then, I'm going to say peace. I'm out of here. <laughs>